In a city blanketed by snow for five months each year, you wouldn't blame cyclists for putting their bikes into hibernation during the winter. But the people of Ulu, Finland, are made of stronger stuff. Despite the long, dark, and snow-filled winters, locals keep peddling their way to and from school and work. With fewer than seven hours of sunlight a day at winter, Ulu is an unlikely leader in winter cycling. The city which calls itself the capital of winter cycling has become a pinup of sustainable transport, with most children still biking to school at minus 20 degrees. Around 20% of all trips made in the city are by bike, with the figure falling to around 12% during winter. Even in Finland's capital, the much warmer Helsinki, only 12% of trips are made by bike year-round. For many locals, even the term winter cycling sounds odd, as biking all year round is so common despite the city being only a little more than 160 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle. Many cyclists use wider winter tires with better grip, sometimes with steel spikes. But some people bike with the same tires year round. The compressed snow is not slippery and that is why more than two-thirds of Ulu cyclists opt to not use studded tires. Why does winter fail to deter cyclists in Ulu? First, Ulu has an enviable cycling network that extends 613 kilometers to connect a population of 200,000. For comparison, Toronto has 579.4 kilometers of on-street cycling infrastructure for a population more than 10 times as large. The city's first cycling plan was developed in 1969 and treated walking and cycling as equal modes of transportation. In this context, winter maintenance of bike routes is a natural extension of investments in cycling infrastructure. People can trust all main cycle paths will be neatly plowed before morning rush hours. Moreover, commuters called cycling agents report back on how well the roads are maintained. Even local commuters agree that low temperatures with dry winter are more suitable for cycling than the sleet common in more southern parts of Europe. Winter brings some more benefits, though. Snow, for instance, fills the potholes and makes the ride more comfortable than plain asphalt. The plows often clear the broader area than the bike path, adding more space to ride on.